What's up, everybody? This is your boy Terrence Warren, aka Cisco Twitter Guy, and I'm right here on the Range Force website because I want to demonstrate to you the Range Force Lab and how to access it, how to answer the questions, how to complete the modules. So I'm going to turn this on so y'all can see my lovely face. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, here we are. And this is the dashboard for the Range Force uh, website. So what I want to do, we're going to go down. See, there are plenty of courses. If we go to the dashboard, there's there's courses. On oh, let's look at the courses. There's courses on the miter attack. There's courses on SQL injection attacks. CVEs. What that is is a score of how malicious content can be or adware or and it's, it, the score is depending on the impact it can make to your organization. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the SIM module because as an aspiring SOC analyst, you want to know and be familiar with the, the CMs, that's the Security Incident and Event Management Tool. So we're going to come down here. And, and Splunk is one of the more popular CMs. So we're going to go ahead and start the module on that. All right. But as you scroll down, there are other CMs. There's Elastic, there's QRadar. And, and the soar. So now that our module is starting, <laughs> all right, we're inside the uh, the lab of the Splunk Basics module and we're going to go ahead and get started okay you are a new systems and security operations analyst at Buttercup Games your company has a Splunk instance which is fed by web transactions database activity and system security logs you need to get familiar with this data as well as the search compatibilities for Splunk that Splunk has to offer Okay, let's get started. We want to view the steps. And they want us to navigate through Splunk. So we're going to go to the Splunk web page. The username is admin. And the password is range force. And we're there. We're going to hit never because you never want to do this. Because if your system should ever get hacked and you have that enabled or autocomplete, they can easily uh, get access to your information without even having to know what the password is. Because once you type the first letter of the password, it'll populate on its own. So they don't have to know the password to get it. And that's just, uh, uh, to me, that's a liability. To even have that so we're gonna go here because they want us to get familiar with the search tabs click on the uh, URL search we're gonna click on this search click on this all right so let's go back to the question the next step all right we click the search and reporting already. We click the URL, the dashboard, and the time tracker. Okay, so they want us to write failed 
in the search menu of the Splunk. So let's come up here and write, type failed. And this is supposed to show us, okay, what did I miss? Okay, um, let's change this to all time and type search again. And there we are. So we did that. Yeah, all time. So we're okay. I've already done the reading. And what they want, they want us to, what is the date of the most recent event? Is that the first question? Okay, so let's go back. And the date of the most recent event is 5 27 20. That's right here. That is the most recent event. So let's go back to the question 5 27. 2020. And we have it right there. What is the username of the most recent event? So let's go back to the lab. All right, and we're still in the same instance right here, the same event. And they asked what was the username. So we're going to go up. Uh, here's the date, SSH, failed password for invalid user, Ubuntu. So, Ubuntu is the username of the, for the most recent failed attempt. So, we're going to copy that, go back, paste, Ubuntu, and that's it. Next, what is the source of the most recent event? So let's go back to the lab. So we've already got the date. We've got the user. Now it wants to know the source. And if we scroll down into the information, you see source right here. And this is the source. So we're going to copy and paste this link right here. Copy. That is the source. Oh, I didn't get all of it. I think I left out that. And that was it. So that's the source. Let's go to the next step. Okay, add root to your search field and rerun the search. Okay, so let's go back to the lab. We want to add root. And rerun the search. All right. How many events contain both failed and root? So how many events contain failed and root? There, here we have events. And I guess and the information is showing us how many events has failed and has root in it. So that gives us a total of 7,283. 7,283. Let's go back and put that in. 7,283. And that is the answer. Let's go to the next step. Mind you, if we didn't know, all we have to do is hit uh, either a hint, take a hint, or reveal the solution. Uh, so our next question is, how many events contain the phrase failed password for root? So let's go back and put failed 
password for root. And we we'll, we'll get the same answer. So let's go back and put that in. 7283. And that's wrong. So let's go and find out why do we get that wrong? Uh, maybe we need to clear it out. Let's just clear it out. No, we don't need to do that. Um, let's look at the question again. We've entered field. Okay, I see what we did. We didn't add the parentheses. So we're going to go and add the parentheses. So it's, that tells me it's case sensitive. We run it again. The number did change by a digit. So instead of 72. 83 is 7282. As you can see here, it's underlined with the blue line. So let's put that in. Take out three. Put in two. And there we go. That was it. And that brings us to the end of the lab. I think that was fairly simple. Fairly you know, uh, you know, informative. You just had to really read and, and pay attention to detail. You had to look through some logs. So, and that's a key skill that you want to have when you're, a, when you're becoming or learning to be a SOC analyst. You want to be like a detective. You want to pay attention to all the clues and all the details and whatever information you need. So I'm going to give this lab a five. I liked it. I don't feel like writing anything, so we're going to just submit it. And then we're going to end the lab. We're going to end the module. So that was just one of the, the modules for the CM lab in Range Force. So um, I hope you liked the video. I want you to hit that like and subscribe button and support the content so I can bring more videos like this to aspiring networkies and and uh, SOC analysts, people trying to get into the IT industry. So with that being said, um, I'll see you in the next video.